Right, you um, join us um, at, a, at, a, at a small house in the Badlands of Chapelfields that I, that I call home. Um, as you can see, it's quite compact, but you know, whatever it is that happens, happens here really. Every year on March the 8th, and I've been doing this for the last few years or so, I've, uh, I tend to write a long Facebook status uh, about many of my female friends. I'm fortunate enough to have um, many, many female friends that I find absolutely inspiring. Some of them are involved in looking after children. Some of them are involved in community projects. Some of them uh, are involved in local government. Many of them are involved in music. And I think that's um, as good a day as any to celebrate them, really. My friend Christine McNaught is the um, manager of uh, Foza Women's Centre who do some absolutely amazing work um, with uh, women that have come from overseas and women that are generally at a disadvantage in life um, through education, through training courses. They provide a platform, I think, for women that otherwise might be isolated. You know, if I see a cause that I think is worth championing, I, I champion it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to another Tin at the Nursery Tavern um, show. So... Will you join us um, here at the Nursery Tavern on the second Wednesday of the month? Um, which is a night where Elaine Tierney, having gone to the open mic night um, at the Tin on the Sunday, she basically picks the best of that and, um, and invites them to come down here to play. One of the best kept secrets about Coventry, in my opinion, is, is its music scene. Um, there's an awful lot going on. Not that many people outside of the said scene know what it's all about. So here is my attempt to partly redress the balance and I have some experience as, as a performer myself when I was a bit younger. I know how hard it is to get people to come and see you. I know how hard it is to promote. Um, many of these people are friends of mine and I really admire and respect their talent. They've become friends through that, through the music. I, I write reviews for um, for Native Coventry, a local blog. Most of the ideas for what I review are my own. In between concentrating on the performances, they, they might they might see me just sort of doodling away. Uh, the notes, the notes. If if any random person were to pick them up, might look pretty incoherent. But I do manage to kind of cobble them together, you know, and and, and construct at least a few paragraphs. It's all part of the process, really. Um, I, I I mean, I, I you know, I I, kind of, I write while I watch. I can count the number of friends on one hand that I, that I haven't met through music. It's a really unifying force. It really brings people together. Everyone seems to know everyone in the local music community. I mean, they say there are very few degrees of separation in Coventry in general, but especially so in the, in, you know, in the music scene, people, people seem to know everybody. I generally think that there is more that unites people than divides people. And music, I think, is one of the one of the best if not the best examples I can think of that there was a sense of real community spirit for example at, at the Bruce Springsteen concert I saw last year at the Rico Arena such an interaction between the audience and with Springsteen and the E Street Band and you know there just seemed to be a real sense of community one might listen to heartbreak songs when they're heartbroken is because frankly misery loves company when you're feeling that rubbish, I think you, you want to know that somebody is suffering at least as badly as you are and preferably worse than you are. You know, there's a real kind of special emotional connection. I mean, certainly for me and, and for most of the people I know. Yeah. 